I'm Mark. And I'm Sarah. We're from New York and we're at the Burlington, Vermont Mother Earth News Fair. We're homestead homies In and you're Vermont. watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Mother Earth News Fair. We're hanging out with uh, Joe Salatin. Uh, he, of course, he's speaking here in uh, Burlington, Vermont. Also, he's going to be at the Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia, October 14th. So make sure you guys get your tickets and book your hotels uh, if you want to come here and speak. So it's a pleasure hanging out with you, Mr. Joe. Thank you. Yeah. You know, so a lot of people that watch our channel, they're like new to homesteading and new to like all this chickens and eggs and everything. So if you had anything you could say to them right now, like reaching out, what, what do you think some advice you could give them? Today? Uh, well, the first the first thing is um, it, it, it's, the important thing is to start yeah. because when, you know when you start uh, then you learn and a lot of people in our in our uh, our techno crazy culture um, we're becoming more and more intimidated of starting without knowing what the end game is going to be you know when, when, you, when you do a computer thing you got to do it the same procedure every single time or it doesn't work right and so. So our whole our love affair with this with this technology, I think, is making people more timid about just jumping off the cliff. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay if it's not quite right. Um, if it's doing, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing for me first. Right. And just start. Uh, I think I think overcoming that that first step, that inertia, you know, is the challenge for everybody. And then once you do. Do you think you like when you're talking to people in these kind of events? Do you think like one of the main things is like the fear of the failure? Well, of course. Yeah. It, 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 of course, everybody fears failure. Yeah. But uh, but that's how you learn. That's you actually, right. You actually learn uh, more from your failures than from your successes. You know the whole um, you know ten thousand hours and ten years right. and all that stuff. And the fact is that every day you delay starting. Delays your delays your your mastery. That's right. Your, because you can't you can't Google experience. Yeah, right. That that actually when, when me and Stacy we talk to people, that's one of the things we. Now I won't say we regret, but we wish we would have started a lot sooner so we could make this journey and then be and even further along than where we are right now. I mean, we're pretty fast learners. A lot of you guys watch our channel, so you've been following us along. But we pick up things pretty easy, but some people don't, and so that struggle is real. And then. The end game is where you're going, and when you get there, it's like, wow, we really did it, right? Right, right, and and of course, um, mastery, mastery requires repetition. That's right. Uh, in, in football, they call it reps. How many right. reps did he get That's in right. this week? And and so, you know, I can teach somebody how to gut a chicken in, you know, in, in ten or twenty minutes. Right, okay? right. But you don't become a master until you've gutted one in cold weather, hot weather, right. an old hen, a young hen. Uh, Rain. <laughs> right. We did yeah, that. Yeah, you did yeah. that recently. Yeah. When Justin uh, was out. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. all those things, all those nuances. Uh, you know, that's that's where you develop mastery. And so, you know, whatever it is, planting a garden, it's well, in, a, in a wet spring, a, a cold spring, a hot spring, a dry spring, a, you know, different kinds of soil, different uh, different kinds of plants. And everything has a context with all these little nuances wrapped around it and it's the repetitions it's the repetitions that bring mastery that's right i love that stuff hey guys i know he's pretty busy he's going to be on stage in a little bit we just wanted to touch base and bring him a little like food for thought for you guys right so um if you haven't checked out his books he's a great author a lot of books out there for you guys don't forget he's going to be in virginia October 14th, that's going to be a good time. So, and he's right up the road from there too. Do you do tours all the time oh, yeah. in your place? So you guys can make it like a family vacation thing, stop into yeah. your place, hit the yeah. thing, the whole night. Yeah. The, far the farms, uh, we have an open door policy, 24-7, 365. Right. Anybody can come from anywhere in the world to see anything, anytime on an app. 
Oh, like that, one or two in the morning? Yep. yep. <laughs> if, if, if that's when you think we're doing something that you don't I'm like, nocturnal. I mean, <laughs> one, one or two in the morning. Don't wake me up, but you're welcome to come. I appreciate you uh, stopping in, talking with us and stuff. Absolutely. You know, uh, we enjoy your speech. Uh, we're going to go check you out in a little bit. Okay. And uh, we're also going to see you in uh, October at the Super fair. Cool. So. Look for, looking forward to it. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy yourself, Thank and uh, we'll see you later. All right. All right, thanks. Thank you. Not over for another 45 minutes. All right, guys. Look who I got. Little Wrangler Star. Little Wrangler Star hanging out at the uh, Mother Earth News Fair. I wandered over by uh, Cody's. Uh, speaking area, so I'm trying to maybe get with him after the um, speak that he's doing. But I saw the uh, junior here wandering around in the crowd. How are you enjoying the fair? It's I, I enjoy all of them. Yeah, uh, they do get a little bit tiring after a while. Yeah, especially the travel, right? You guys yeah. are traveling all the way from the West Coast coming out here. We only came from Missouri, and I'm a little beat up. Yeah, it's yeah. a long plane flight. So um, what's been? Uh, you, has anything stood out? Like you know, interesting stuff. Um, well, Vermont's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's a really nice state. Um, I, the people here are pretty, really nice, and, well, it's just a nice area. It's kind of similar, I guess, to where you live, really, right? It's got not as high of mountains, but it's got the greens, it's yeah. got the people, it's, it's the earthy. It's a quite similar area. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. So we're waiting for his uh, dad and mom to finish up talking, and hopefully we're going to be able to uh, talk with them a little bit. And um, I just saw him and I thought it'd be cool if we hung out and talked for him. He didn't even know who I was. I'm thinking, uh-oh. They got to be limiting limiting the uh, internet access at the house if he's not watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Yeah. We, you know, uh, on our channel, we do we live without solar or electricity or wind turbines or anything, right? Uh -huh. And we do homesteading and, you know, foraging. We build stuff. I mean, you know, so it's kind of cool. We enjoy it. Um, so how's your garden going? Uh, I don't do much gardening. Yeah. I, I've never been really interested in it. Yeah. How about when you put in the water lines with your dad? Was that kind of cool? Yeah, that was kind of fun. Plumbing yeah. is kind of fun. Yeah, you like the building plumbing aspects and yeah. stuff like that better, huh? Uh -huh. Well, how are you going to eat? <laughs> I, I guess mom will have to take care of that. <laughs> Doing all these things was infrastructure and putting fences up and all those things take so much time. Uh, there's an opportunity with that. So look and see what it is that's lacking in the community and who's not providing something, whether that be bees. I know another guy that does really beautiful high-end beeswax candles and ships them all over the world. We know um, somebody does owl pellets. They sell, sell it to schools. We have a neighbor that... Um, a perfect example. Sorry, the, the owl pellets. He put up owl pellets all over through the forest, got permission from landowners. All right, guys, so we finally met up with uh, Cody and his wife from Wrangler Star. Woo! <laughs> That's how I feel now. <laughs> Man, we are like wore out. I mean, isn't it something to do these fairs and to talk to all the people? It is. It is. Well, and it everyone is, is yeah. so delightful and right. everything. But and then the connection. I just love to meet them face to face because, you know, you're on the videos and sometimes you don't get to see them face to face and sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, you know, that's you. Well, and we had the most delightful young man come up and tell us that he, Cody had given some advice about getting a job, work a week for free and then ask for a summer job. And he had done that. And because of that, he'd gotten his next job as a chemical right. engineer and like all these. I totally heard him saying so, that. That yeah, was totally cool. It was really fun to hear. I was uh, telling Cody, I was saying like, it's the kids. Like when they show up and they tell you their stories and you see the smile on their face and they watch you and stuff. That is so rewarding, you know, as for us as like YouTube creators, right? That is like huge. I love that. We get like letters from kids and they're sending us essays and they draw pictures of our cabin. I mean, we just really, really enjoy that stuff. It is, you know, it's it's really hard for us sometimes when you're home and you're in the trenches and the negativity comes in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I don't know what it is about that, but it seems that you could focus on that and not on all the positive that comes through. And we have to do these because it, 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 it reminds us of why we do right. this. Right. Oh my gosh, you, isn't it great? It when you have totally a family that out. drives eight hours from Michigan, just to come here and stand two hours in a book line and, and to tell to, to tell you how much you, they love your channel. I mean, you got to. What you're doing is you, you got to take it seriously. It, right. it means something it means to it people. It's yeah. it's affecting people. And and when we come back from these, you know, we're we're always fired up and right. and we 
remember why we're doing this. Watch like Jacks grow up. I mean, it's neat. Like we, I was yeah. talking to him. I actually like had him in the video. Eight years, seven, eight years. Yeah. No, I know. I just, just in a yeah. short time, he is just at that age. They just changed so he's much. A, he's a young man. Right. Yeah. And I, I told him I was actually interviewed him a little bit, right? And we were talking, and I said, "Do you know who I am?" And he was like, "Well, not really." And so we started talking, and I, I got him on camera. But I said, "You know, Stacy's talking about your voice changing." Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, "Yes." <laughs> he's really proud of that. Yeah. yeah. He's really proud. You know, some kids don't don't accept puberty very well. Right. He, he's kind of, he's all into it. He's like, yeah, I'll have that. Right. So, it's happening. Right. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. Yeah. We well, you're it. actually not at all like you are in your videos. Oh, is that right? You're much taller. Much taller. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. Uh, we talked to Lumna Acres yesterday. He has a YouTube channel yeah. too, right? And he's like kind of a short guy and he looks up and he's like, Doug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I met him too. Yeah. yeah. He was a really nice good guy. Good stuff. I love yeah, it. You, you're taller than I thought you were. Well, I think everybody must think that I'm very short because they because don't really he's talk. Tall. Yeah. That's the same way. I guess it's the same thing. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, uh, Cody and myself are kind of tall, and the women are about average, average size, yeah. of average stature. Yeah, a little taller. Than Big average. in personality is what she usually says. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I've seen that um, you guys got your wood chips going. You know, the garden's going to mm -hmm. be in swing this year. You got yeah. your hydrants out by your boxes. Because we after can totally six years. relate. Because we just got a whole semi truck full of mulch. Right. Oh, so yes. we're we're doing the You're same excited. thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's all and everything. It's just is sitting going. there getting good. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. Actually, it was like at six months to a year already aged. Okay. And actually, uh, we have nice. a video right here and the, uh, we have well, I have I was in the lawn care landscape business oh. so I called one of my buddies and I had him bring it out and it's a walking floor 18 wheeler and they actually got it stuck in our yard so they had to call a, a wrecker and to everything to get it out no good deed goes unpunished that's right <laughs> so um, you know we got that delivered we have it all out we're starting to grow in it right now and I'm just about to do our big reveal on our um, uh, we have like back to Eden garden one. area uh -huh. and the raised bed stuff okay. so I've been following along with your hydrants because after six years, so five years, we were hauling water in five gallon buckets mm. and we just put in our rainwater catchment system. Um, and so she, we could totally relate to having hydrants by the oh, garden area. Uh, yeah, we just we keep walking back and forth and yeah, yeah. yeah it's nice we're good. Stuff. It's good stuff. So it's yeah. kind of neat to watch you guys because you're kind of going through with what we kind of already did and it's, it's, it'll be so neat when it's all done and it's so yeah. easy. So much easier. Oh, yeah, when we originally put the garden in, we did put chips on it. Yeah. But it was so much work. We had a really small chipper, maybe 18 horsepower, and it, we just couldn't keep up with it. Not so, like that thing you have now. But that one, that <laughs> one got, got it sorted. That's a body crusher. <laughs> we, we, would, we were running some, I don't know, maybe 20 inch trees yeah. through, eight, eight, whatever. They were big. I always over exaggerate the size of trees. Right. They were big. Uh, and they would go through there, and we would stand there looking like, whoa! It makes, it makes you shudder. <laughs> there, you know, the power of that right. thing is shaking and. I know it was really. They loaned it to us. Right, yeah, right, right. Really I think we got figured about seventy yards. It was oh, just wow. that quick yeah. too. Yeah. Four days. Quick. As quick as you could dump it, it was getting there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, four days. That thing really chewed up the tree. So we, yeah. we it was actually so effective. We were we were planning on chipping our, our brush piles, our slash piles. Right. But we had a, a stand of timber that we never did thin and cleared. It had a winch on it. We basically logged it with that chipper because <laughs> you know, the winch was so good. Right. So she set chokers all day. I saw that. Uh, her and you were getting good at that. And yeah. Yeah. And, and you learned a new trick. Yeah. No, I've set chokers before. No, you learned a new trick though. Oh, which one? Wrapping it around the stump so you get oh, leverage. Yeah, but we only did that one time and then we used the stock. What was it, it called? Was, it, it, it was tearing it did, up the it rope. Oh, up the right. Rope. So right. we used the, the, the block. Oh, right on. I don't think we put that in the video. Right, right, right. No, but we did use the block. So a lot of them, of course, were hitting stumps and so she'd have to throw a block and right yeah, right yeah, that's, that's good right. that's good that's, that's good for Jack's too. <laughs> it's true. It's true. for the homeschoolers for sure. do you know what a choker setter taught me that would have saved so much work wait that, a that he did it professionally what? he said wrap it around two times right and then when you pull it tight it unravels and rolls the log, the log. Oh. there you go which if you have a steel cable you could do that but not what we had but i i had never heard of that that's pretty smart so it's like no matter how much time you're putting in on the homestead, no matter what you think you've learned, right? It's like every day, it's like a new learning experience. That's another great thing about it, you know what I mean? It's like medicine, you practice homestead. That's right, practice homestead. It is, that's, that's right. a good t-shirt. Uh, yeah, Our practice homestead. Oh, yeah. hey, shh. There you go. <laughs> it's ours. You, you can have it. You can have it. <laughs> right, hey, seriously, thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time. We know you guys are busy. I know, I've got to eat this, so we're walking yeah, by. Yeah, she has the ice cream. The guy I'm says, hungry, here, okay. you look like you need some ice cream. She's like, yes, I do. For sure, for sure. But uh, it's good to yeah. meet you guys in person, and we appreciate your channel. You know, we've watched you guys a long time. I know you were subscribed to our channel, or maybe still are. I know you yep. watch some of our videos. You yep. talked about us in a live show and stuff before, but um, it's just good to get in contact with other people that are like-minded, doing the same thing, and especially like with the YouTube thing, right? Because it's, 
a whole nother dichotomy to actually like just homesteading and putting it on the videos is a whole nother thing, you know. So yeah. we appreciate all the hard work you guys do. You step up your editing game. Work, it's but good it's fun. stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. You guys Learned know something. how much work it is. Yeah. Tons of work. Yeah. Tons of work. And, and it's tons of work. So cool. Yeah. That's it. Check out Wrangler Star if you haven't. We'll leave the links down below. Um, we met Joe Salatin today too. Hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. Don't forget you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I know um, Wrangler Star has their um, Instagram. You Face, have one too, don't you? Too. No. And there's no Instagram for you? too much. Right. So, but they do have a Facebook page. And we'll have all those links down below in case you haven't checked them out. And if you've been living under a rock yes, or something, yes. I don't know. Let's go a pencil. But yeah. We, here, guys. We even <laughs> gives away the Wrangler Star pencils. Only if you meet us, though. Only in person meets. Only in person. So don't be right. trying to email. Trying to. <laughs> Doug, can That's you give right. me that one pencil that you got? Don't put it on eBay. Uh, no, no eBay. <laughs> Here, will you sign this for me? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. And uh, whew, we're gonna be tired, so give us a day to recoup, and then we'll be back at it. You'll see you guys. See you Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.